What's going on guys? Uh, this is the Retarded Fish 1998 doing a uh, video on why you should not buy GTA 5. Now, I've been looking forward to this game for a, at least two years and I'm telling you it's not very good. Um, it's not the worst game in the world but it's by no means the best. Now, Go through this. So the campaign, it's a fair, fairly decent story. I'm not going to lie there. The characters are interesting, and it's got a fair amount of immersion in it. The gameplay mechanics are pretty good. The driving mechanics are horrible. I was driving around um, in the streets of Los Santos. And I thought I was playing Burnout Paradise. Now, Burnout Paradise is my favourite game of all time. But you don't want that feel when you're playing a GTA game. You want the, 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 the mechanics that they had in GTA 4 were the most amazing driving mechanics I've ever found in any GTA game. And there's not many GTA games, but that was the best one. And I was hoping that they'd return those mechanics to GTA 4. So, sorry to GTA 5, which they didn't do. So that's another bad point. The other bad point. Um, well, um, the overall feel of the game is a bit misleading. The trailer and the gameplay trailer pretty much says you can do anything. You can explore Los Santos, which is true. You can go pretty much anywhere. But there isn't really that much to do. I mean, um, tennis? Yeah, who wants to do that? Nobody. Um, a bit of golf? Yeah, I think we'll um, give that one a miss as well. Um, let's, you know what, let's kill some police. Oh, that slowly gets boring. Um, you know what, the one game, sorry, the two games, the two only good games I've bought this year, that have been out this year, are The Last of Us and Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite blew my mind, best game of the year, I reckon it's the best game in the last sort of three years actually, but I played that, thought it was amazing, then I was waiting for GTA 5, sorry, checking the time, then I was waiting for GTA 5 thinking, oh, everyone's going to be on here, no, do not buy GTA 5, stick with GTA 4, GTA 5 is the most misleading experience that I've ever even played. Um, how can I describe this? The multiplayer is terrible. Even with this $500,000 refund or whatever, the multiplayer is terrible. Um, the game mechanics feel slow. They're sort of very forced, they don't feel like any work's been put into it at all, um, and also the way you play the online is terrible. I got around $50,000 without uh, getting them taken, I was thinking, oh this is great. Didn't realise there was a bank in the game, and someone took all my money. Now, um, I find that rather stupid and fucked up, why any uh, producer would put that software or allowance in a game um, and people that bought the um, where you, you can buy GTA points with your own money people that bought that and then got it stolen from other people they've just wasted their own money so overall don't get the game um, great world to explore really beautiful reasonably impressive graphics great cover system awful driving mechanics good story absolutely terrible online, barely anything to do, but they said there was loads. Don't get GTA 4, get Bioshock Infinite. Thank you very much.